All right, guys, my buddy Matt uh, Lupartis. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, because I've never went to Matt and been like, hey, bud, how do you pronounce your last name? So it is what it is. Sorry, Matt. Hopefully it's right. But uh, he made this for me, and uh, he's super talented. He does paint work, but he does uh, renderings of cars or drawings or paintings. I don't really know what they're called, but uh, he drew this for me of the Vega and it looks awesome. So if you guys want your car done, contact him. His name's Matt Lopartis, I think, but I'll put his Facebook profile up and then I'll put his, uh, I'll put his, uh, Shop. his other page. It's like his uh, business page up to it's creative tendencies, I think, but I'll put it up just to be sure. But he does awesome work. And if you guys want your stuff painted, he'll paint your kid, you know, he'll paint your wife, but he likes painting cars. So he's done a lot of cool stuff. He did Billy the Kid's truck. He did uh, Kenny's truck from uh, Old Man Garage and Street Racing Channel, or not his truck, but his Camaro. He does really good work, so check him out. Hey guys, we're down at JP Shop. We got some more paint. Uh, we're gonna finish up the walls and hopefully we can start on the floor and I have the lights. So uh, probably before this video's over, we'll go ahead and wrap up the race trailer and the uh, We'll be ready to go. I do need a winch, so there's that. So if any of you viewers are from the West Virginia area, you know it's freezing here. It's been like eight degrees for like two weeks. But um, we're back in the trailer. The ceiling still looks really good. The walls look really good. Uh, Sam's going ahead and putting an extra coat on. And uh, I'm sweeping the floor because it was filthy. And I'm hoping we'll have time to get started on the floor today. So it's a good possibility. It's the walls shouldn't take too long. This is our heat source, because it is a little warmer today and the sun's helping, but we got some halogens in here. It warms it up nice and nice and toasty. All right, I'm gonna tape off some of my uh, pretty parts here. And uh, it looks like this spot might be a little vulnerable to the water, because there's already some rusty spots there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that black, get that chrome taped off, and then uh, the D-rings taped off, and then we, hopefully, will start working on the floor. This stuff is so awesome. Look at that. That'll hopefully protect it. There was a couple of rust spots right there, so hopefully that'll make it good as new for a while anyway. Sorry, right, I'll get that later. All right, update. Uh, Sam has rolled pretty much uh, the whole sides of the trailer again in white. Looks great, almost done. And uh, the ceiling held up well. The black still looks good. Still turbo can for the win. Um, but I think I'm ready to start on the floor. I got all my D-rings taped off, got the entryway taped off, so. I'm going to uh, start on the floor and hope that this paint does the whole surface. 
If not, we'll have to go get more. All right, it's epoxy time. Sam's got some uh, in the corner. She's trying to hit the corner. So thankfully we found a broomstick that would work for our paint roller here because I did not want to have to do that on my knees the whole time. But we're going to give it a shot. See how it goes down. You want to video the first couple lines for me? I can try to do it one handed. I can do it. it work. Let me, I want to get this done so you can start. Like, once I get this corner set, we can roll. then you can yeah. roll. And I can focus on another corner or edges. I'm trying to cover up this ugly glue, too. Because I'd kind of rather the epoxy go up on the lip a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. I'm also trying to make it a little thicker so it covers. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> Calm down. We'll get it. I really hope this does the whole floor. Yeah. We'll just have to see. Because I don't want to go to Lowe's again. I don't want to make another day out of this either. Yeah. Because if we have to leave and go get more, we won't get it done tonight. Not Unless you come back and work in the dark. That's always a possibility. It's not covering. Well, I just wiped it off. The glue? Yeah. That glue just doesn't like to have stuff stuck to it, which is ironic. <laughs> also, like, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to any kind of painting. Like, is that wrong? Don't get it all the way up on the See? No, it's not wrong. I mean, you want to get a good coat on it. No point in wasting your time not having a bunch on there. Should have edged out a little bit more because that's definitely gonna get on there. So far, I definitely like the it looks, looks of it. Pretty good. Just leave. Try not to get too close to the wall. I'll come over there with the brush in just a second, or get right on the wall. Glad I didn't just say. Dang it. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely it laying good. thick, yeah. Right there needs a little bit. I can get it with the brush. I like it. I like it. I think it's going to be a good look. I'm liking the vibes. All right, I'm going to pop off here. We got a little more than four square feet down there so it's time for some flakes so i'm gonna try to do this the right way but you know it is what it is it's open without spreading flakes everywhere perfect i've never done this before so I don't know how liberal to be with the flakes, you know what I'm saying? We don't have too many of them, so. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. That's a lot. <laughs> Put some texture in here. but you know it is what it is oh, gotta get that corner we're a little light right here hit it some more no, now I'm gonna get bag. flakes all over my brush we only have one bag yeah it feels like there's a lot left okay all right back to rolling me.
update on the budget race trailer. It's looking pretty sweet. We've got all the way back to the fender wells done. Paint chips down. I'm gonna put some more paint chips down. And uh, if you're a watcher of the channel and you watch all of our videos, even the less exciting ones, um, when we bought the trailer, Sam had the idea for epoxy, so she wins this one. Because <laughs> this was a good idea. This is working great. And uh, we'll see over the years how it holds up, but I mean, it looks really good so far. It's got good texture. And I think, I think we're going to have enough to finish and do the tailgate. And then we'll really put a lot of chips on that because we don't want it to be slippery. So it's working great so far. How about this? If you're watching the video, I'm gonna sprinkle chips until you guys say to stop, kind of like Door of the Explorer. So I'm just gonna keep going until somebody says to stop. That's way too many in one spot, but you know, they're there now. It is what it is. All right, we are done. We've rolled the whole thing. We've paint chipped the whole thing. The walls are painted. And other than my, uh, I'm not real good at putting like evenly spaced paint chips, but it looks great. Like ceiling looks awesome. I love the black ceiling, charcoal gray floor, uh, gray, black and white paint chips. We got two, <laughs> two coats of paint on the wall. So overall we have two cans of regular white paint for the walls, six, I didn't even use all six turbo cans. Uh, I used about four and a half turbo cans to paint the roof and not even one full can of epoxy and paint chips for the floor and the interior is done. So yeah, it's like 150 bucks max for this entire uh, paint job. So. We'll get a hitch soon and then we can race and then we'll the rest of it will uh we'll do over time i got my lights so we'll be putting the lights in soon and the breaker box and wire everything up and we're about there hey guys that's going to do it for this video very soon i wanted to give you guys an update the mountain state utv guys are going to be doing the hot ones challenge from the youtube show we uh are going to eat some of the hottest wings in the world it's gonna suck it's gonna hurt a lot but hopefully we can make a good funny video for you guys as always thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and we will see you guys soon